All right, once again, we are watching the radar very uh, intently here this evening. Rain right now going to be shifting into more snow as we head further into the night. So let's take a look at the rain, and I've got the temperatures on the board here too because those are going to have a big bearing on what's going on. So you can see places like Button Willow and Delano and not on the board here, but Wasco Shafter getting into some heavier rain right now. Lost Hills just exiting or beginning to exit that heavier rain. Bakersfield just starting to get into these showers. It'll get heavier very soon, but this is going to swing off to the east and to the south as we head through the evening here. But the temperatures in places like Tehachapi, uh, Lebec, Fraser Park right now, too warm for snow. So initially this is going to be rain, but as temperatures drop behind the system, we do expect snow overnight tonight. So future cast doing a great job of picking up this activity, initially showing it moving into Bakersfield in the next hour or so, and then moving into the mountains and again, it's going to start off, I think, as rain in our mountain areas. Then on the back side of this main band, temperatures should drop quickly and we'll start to see more of that snow mixing in. And that snow is likely to linger in our mountain areas overnight tonight. So it will likely begin to stack up here tonight, even over the passes. Definitely have the potential for some travel issues tonight and into tomorrow morning as those lingering snow showers continue. Maybe even a stray rain shower into the day tomorrow, but no real concerns tomorrow. The big concerns are overnight into tomorrow morning. Good shot of rain here, too. Uh, in the valley, anywhere from about a tenth to a third of an inch, and it'll come pretty quickly. So some locally heavy rain definitely possible here, but tonight it's really the snow over the passes that we're most concerned with. So I think over Highway 58 toward to Hatchapi, one to three inches of additional snow. Again, that's on the road surface, a trace to two inches over the grapevine. Both of those enough to either slow things down, potentially shut things down tonight. So again, we'll keep a very close eye on the radar and the road conditions. Areas above 5,000 feet, I think we'll get more snow. Of course, they'll see that transition to snow more quickly. So three to six inches of snow for those areas above 5,000 feet. So through the night tonight, lingering showers here in the valley. Of course, the big story temperatures in the mountains well below freezing, accumulating snow possible. Even a couple snowflakes down toward Lake Isabella can't be ruled out. Not much accumulation there. Fortunately for tomorrow, I'll call it a 10% chance of a stray shower. We're finally coming to the end of this very active weather. Through the day, a little on the cool side at 53 degrees, not bad, partly cloudy skies. Dry by Friday, the weekend, some signs of nicer weather. 61 on Sunday, and next week looks great. High pressure building back in. However, with high pressure building back in, that tends to lead to some fog. So we'll hope the fog holds off. That will be possible, though, into next week. Mountain communities here. Temperatures tomorrow in the South Mountains only in the 30s. Chilly after that new fresh snow overnight tonight. And then getting a little bit better as we head through time here. Getting into the 40s and eventually 50s in the South Mountains. And close to 60 for Lake Isabella by the end of the forecast. So some light at the end of the tunnel.